So hey, I'm uh, I'm Kendall, and I'm Mark. We're uh, we're with Crispy US. We get a lot of questions from guys about boot construction, and we think that there's there's a really a little bit of information that might be both incorrect as well as guys that uh, that phone in and or guys that shows that ask us about it. As we've been to the factory, can, you know, a number of times, we've learned a lot about how crispy boots are made. So uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about what makes what really makes a boot. St stable as well as uh, what happens as far as the foundation of uh, boot construction. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think, you know, starting with the outer sole and the midsole, I think is important for guys to understand. Um, I, I think a lot of guys think that the actual outer sole and the midsole in a boot uh, is what creates the actual stiffness. And as you can see, the reason we wanted to talk about this is because it actually doesn't. You can, you can actually look at multiple soles that have uh, just a you know just a vibram sole but this isn't really what creates the stiffness in it no um, this is actually it'll add some stability for sure yep. but it's not going to create like some guys say hey how i want a, I want a real stiff boot so how does this this mm -hmm. midsole sole combination different from this midsole sole combination mm -hmm. the reality is is there there are different materials and sure you know this one that includes a little bit of polyurethane and a little bit of eva yeah i can't really flex this but it as you get out here it's <laughs> pretty floppy and that that That's was exactly kind of right. surprising to me when when we started learning more about boot construction and manufacturing is that that this combination of the sole midsole doesn't doesn't really give the, the the entire foundation of the boot. No, that's exactly right. And so when you look at when you actually look at this sole, the, the this is the outer sole right here. And in, and when you get a boot, you can actually see the outer sole is right here. This is actually replaceable. Uh, we, you can get this boot resold. Uh, this is actually the midsole, which is the polyurethane. Uh, and you can see this is particularly the you know the crispy uh, vibram sole uh, that was created for them uh, that has the crossbow system, and it actually runs all the way across the boot here. It helps dampen the vibration, um, it, it absorbs some shock, yeah, and it absolutely. actually kind of spreads it out across the whole sole. Uh, that's one of the things that actually makes our boots really comfortable to wear. Yeah, and then additionally, you can see like these holes right here, that just, it like you think about the Air Jordans of, of day gone by, I mean, that that really started creating more cushion, and, and with this these holes, it just allows for a little bit of expansion as you put more weight on there, so you don't have, you have a little bit more cushioning capabilities in that. And some of the, some of the soles that, that we use in some of our boots, like uh, this one right here, you'll see, I mean, this has a couple little flex pieces in it, so a, definitely a more flexible sole. Yep. Um, some of them use like the Vibram sole that, that, that's made for crispy. Uh, others will have different patterns and stuff like that here. Yep. Tread difference is a little bit deeper, but all in all, you were spot on. Yep. I mean, th this does add some stability, yep. but the real bread and butter, butter is the, the, the board last. Yep. So here we've got uh, the board last for the Laponia, and the Laponia actually marries up to this particular midsole and sole combination. You can see this is a flex rating of one, and and we we I first saw this I was like yeah. wow it's, I mean that's it's really flexible you know almost like a like a trail running shoe if you will, the rear part of the board last is actually a little bit stiffer, and some guys have asked if we've got like a shank in our in our our boots we don't we don't use a shank no. some some manufacturers want to use like a maybe like a metal shank or even a composite shank but but uh, in this particular board last there's you can see there's a little bit of a, a different. A little bit thicker right there, but it's not a shank that's yeah. it's added to the boot, and and that's why I think our boots end up being very very comfortable. Is is we haven't added a shank, but we we've, we've created a board last that goes throughout the entire flex of the boot. So we can see uh, from what Kendall was just showing us on a, a number one, which will uh, yeah. in our in our rating chart the Laponia. Uh, this is actually a number three, which is actually the Nevada, and so you can see in that it actually has a little bit more flex. Yeah. Uh, on the back of it actually has some grooves, and that's obviously which what helps make that boot really comfortable yeah. and it makes it flex a little bit better. Uh, and so when you actually put it actually in the sole, that's actually how the actual boot is constructed. You have the outer sole, the midsole, and then actually the board last. And one thing that, that happens in the construction of the boot is the actual leather actually comes all the way around the board last. And so that gives yeah. it some more stability and strengthens it, you know, torsionally side to side. Yeah, and we've, we've, I mean, watching that process in the factory is amazing because guys, guys that have worked in the factory for five, 10, 15 years, uh, I mean, even guys that have been working for 25 years are 
doing this process day in day out, and it's a hand process. So the sure. so the exceptional uh, build is is manifest in, in, in shaping that boot. Yeah. But you can see now that it's all together with that particular uh, board last mm -hmm. and sole. That's that's what you ultimately get in the flex yeah. of a of a three or the, the Nevada boot. Yeah. So the 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 next board last is the the board last that we put in the hunter, yeah. which is actually a four, and the four actually, as you can see, is actually a little bit more. It's not quite as flexible as it's a little thicker it's too. A little bit right? thicker. You can see that it's a little bit thicker there. It does have a little bit of shape on the mm -hmm. bottom. That's uh, it's uh, kind of in the area where maybe like a shank might be, mm -hmm. but it's just a reinforced here with a little bit of a cross pattern. That it's got a little bit more beef, and that's why guys that sheep hunt. Uh, like the hunter, not just because of the height, but because that stability gives you a little, a little bit more, more stiffness. Yeah, so as you're going yeah. up steeper terrain, you're going to find that this type of boot with a flex rating of four is going to be a little bit less physical demanding, and more of the boot's going to take take some of that yeah. uh, that that uh, that stability or need for, away from yeah. you. Yeah. So in the market, you hear a lot of guys saying, "Hey, I want I want a stiff boot." We and get calls about that often. all the time. Yeah. How stiff are your boots? And so, you know, we this is the reason why we're doing this so that guys understand that uh, when you want a stiff boot, uh, this is a board last that actually goes uh, in in uh, in a really stiff mountaineering boot. And yeah. you find that uh, we'll be bringing some boots in that are stiff like this. Uh, but you'll find in this board last is that you can't you can't even bend this. This board last that is extremely is stiff. stiff. And I yeah. when, when when we saw this, it was like. Dude, no way yeah. are people gonna use this yeah. thing, but uh, you put your you've you've worn a boot that that, yes. that uses this this yeah. lot. What what did it feel like? It it's very stiff. It, it has no flex. Was it uncomfortable though? Um, no, I think if, if you're if you're someone that loves a mountaineering style boot yeah. or a boot that's uh, that you want a very very stiff sole. Yeah, that's exactly what this does. And so yeah. when you you take that board last and you put it in a sole, you'll see that. There is there is no give there. There's and barely any flex. So yeah. if that's you know if that's what you're after, then this is what we would we would rate as a number five. Number five, yeah. So extremely stiff. So not my cup of tea, but definitely uh, there's a lot there's some guys out there that want yeah. that. So anyway, that's just a, a little bit of education on board lasting mm -hmm. and on soles and uh, on on midsoles. Yeah, the main so, thing to remember, like like what you said before, Mark, was guys guys are thinking that the sole itself, you know, they see maybe this sole in one boot. And then maybe they'll see uh, like this sole in another boot, and they think, "Oh, this one must be stiffer, stiffer. Yeah. inherently." And it's not necessarily the case. There may be a little bit of difference between, for example, this the you know, proprietary crispy uh, PU midsole and this this uh, Vibram uh, midsole, but the real difference, you know, comes in in the last. So the flex rating that's why it's so important, and we it is we really that's wanted right. to to help everyone out that looks at our site, looks at our boots to know. You watch the flex rating yep. for really determine, yep. you know, what that difference is going to yep. feel like. That's what you know. Crispy's the most known for. I mean, Crispy's the most known for its fit and feel yeah, right absolutely. out of the box. Yep. Um, you can wear our boots right out of the box. It's what makes them comfortable. Uh, that's what guys when they review them, they test them, they try them on. They always say, "How long does it take them to break in?" Everybody says, "Yeah." Everybody asks, "How long does it take them to break in?" Our boots, you can wear right out of the box. Some zero zero to no miles right. break in. Some um, maybe. Three, four, ten yeah. miles. That, but it's not, not your traditional lot. 40, 50, 60 miles. No. Maybe they don't ever break in. That's what Crispy is most known for. Yeah. So, so well, yeah. thanks for checking thanks. in, guys. We appreciate uh, your interest. If you have any questions that you want answered about boot construction, boot build, what makes a boot uh, fit and fill, go ahead and uh, hit us on our website, hit us on Instagram or Facebook. We're happy to answer the questions and we're grateful that you'd, you'd check out Crispy Boots. Mm -hmm.